Hi guys, welcome back to Freeze Drying Mama. Okay, so um, I've had a couple people say, it's been a while, are you okay? And yes, thank you so much. I am okay, you can hear kids in the background. Um, I'm okay, thank you so much. It's just, I don't do Freeze Drying Mama for like a money maker. Um, I do Freeze Drying Mama simply to inform and to help and to kind of share. And because I want my, my freeze drying stuff to be tax deductible. Um, my oldest son went on a mission. Uh, we sent him on a mission about six weeks ago, and so I spent the summer getting him ready, um, as well as bulking up. Um, my food storage is not just freeze drying stuff. It is canning stuff. It's, I mean, I'm even trying out, we've been practicing waxing our cheese. This is not a good example. It got moldy because the wax broke and we used the wrong cheese. But we've been experimenting with things. Um, I just finished a bunch of jars of tomato sauce um, that I've been making. So I've been doing a lot of things. Um, but I've seen a lot of people in groups and forums and on comments of other people's blogs that they can't figure out why their stuff is getting soggy in the bakes. And I wanted to tell you uh, one of my theories, um, and it's actually based on standard chemistry, standard biology uh, chemistry. Um, is the difference between pulling your item out of the cold trays, out of the cold freeze dryer when it's allowed to get cold versus pulling them out when they're hot or warm, okay? So I have the oven that's been going, it's dinging at me to tell me, hey, it's been a little bit, are you gonna <laughs> get in here? I have the oven um, set at 120. It's at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, my freezer, I'm just doing my standard freezer here. It's it, Everything's hard, rock hard, so that's below 32. So I'm gonna guess maybe 25 degrees, okay, Fahrenheit. So it's definitely frozen. Um, I've had a jar in here for months and months because this is where I store my yeast. Um, and then I have a jar that I put in here so I, for the purpose of this video. It's been in here for probably five minutes, so definitely had a chance to get hot enough. Um, 120 degrees is about what your freeze dryer gets up to. Bless you. My adorable cameraman just sneezed and he did it so politely to make sure it wasn't in my film. That was sweet. Thanks, honey. And um, I and so 120 degrees is what we have the is what you have your food about get to when it's in the freeze dryer. It can also get like sometimes when you pull it out, it's like at 95, 105, somewhere in there. But 120 is usually a good a good range. Okay, that's usually when I pull mine out is when it's at 120 and it's finished drying. Um, if it's not at 120 or at above at least 95, I will definitely put it in and rewarm the trays and, and get it back up to heat. Um, now my freezer is only what 25 degrees, maybe a little bit cooler, give or take. Uh, but the freezer for the freeze dryer, it gets down way cold, like negative 40, right? I've seen as low as negative 41. Um, so for the purposes of this though, I'm just going to go with what's in the freezer and what's in the in the oven. So I'm going to pull out the jar. And I'm going to have my, my son look at it. We're just going to look at it and we're just going to watch what it does, okay? I'm going to pull out the jar from the oven. 120 degrees isn't that hot, but just in case, I'm going to use a towel to show you. So Malcolm, I'm going to have you come down here. And this is warm, um, definitely very warm. It's pretty warm to the touch. Oh, yeah, the, it's, it's, it's warm. So I'm going to pull this out. It's definitely warmer than what my trays would probably be at. But you can see it's at 120. I'm going to turn that off. Now we're just going to watch the jar for a moment. My oven's dirty. Please forgive it. We've been in the middle of canning. Okay, so we don't really see anything going on. It's still very dry. It's starting to cool off a little bit. Our house is fairly cold. Okay, so there's really nothing happening too much with this jar. There, It's dry. Everything's fine. You can still see it very clearly. Everything is very clear. You can still see that it's a clear jar. It's clean. I'm touching it. I'm not getting any liquid or anything on it. Okay, so this is very nice. And I can actually feel it starting to get cooler actually in my touch. So this is great. This is, this is what it does. This is what the items do when they're in your freeze dry trays. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have my son come up a little bit closer because I don't want you to miss this. In fact, I, don't, I won't even have time to pull it over to the counter. I want you to watch what happens to the jar that I pull out of the freezer. But first I wanna explain the conditions in my house. It's very dry. I live in Missouri. It is not as humid as people say, especially right now we're in the middle of a drought. We had rain about three days ago, but it hasn't been warm enough to put the water into the air. Not to mention I have dehumidifiers running all the time. We also have, um, I've been in, we're in the kitchen. I just got out of the shower. My skin is very dry. So this is a dry environment that we're in right now. Okay, so just to make sure that you're clear, this is not a uh, humid area that I'm in. It is not 
Um, this is not where it's like, I'm in Hawaii where it's nice and humid or Florida. I'm in Missouri, it's cold. It is not um, conducive to a humid, a humid climate, okay? So I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna pull this out cold. So I'm gonna pull, reach in here, you can see right where it's at. I'm gonna pull my jar of yeast out and we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna stop it there because it's really cold. But you can see how the ice is already gathering on the jars. Ice is water, as you know. Now imagine if this was food. That was what, five seconds, six seconds? If this is food and it was cold, and it's colder than this, imagine how much liquid and humidity it is getting out of when that get freeze dry comes out. And you think it's freeze dried. You think it's finished. Because when you pull it out of that freeze dryer, it is finished. But then this happens. Look at that. It's on my fingers. My hands are wet. This is what you're doing to your freeze dried foods. It has to be warm when you pull it out. And I don't care what anybody else says. Science doesn't lie. This is actual science that I just showed you. This is freezing cold. I can scrape the ice off this. That is humidity, that is water, that's H2O. So it's pulling the oxygen out of the, I'm gonna set this down. It's pulling the oxygen out of the air, combined with the hydrogen. It's bonding that on there, and it is creating a frozen condensation. It's not gonna stay frozen forever, is it? It's actually going to turn into that soft water and rehydrate your food inside the bags. So I highly recommend that you pull your stuff out warm. If you don't know how to pull your stuff out warm and you go down to your freezer, or you up to your freezer, wherever it's at, and you open it up and you feel it. I know lots of people do. Oh, I, I test the trays this way. I test the humidity and how much water. Great. But if you're pulling it out cold, this is what you're doing to your food. You can't even see. You can't even see. And this one's still warm. You cannot even see the difference. This one's not collecting humidity. This one is. And it's literally scrapable and it is not humid in my house. I could take this outside and it's still, it's still dry. You can see where I'm wiping it off. This is ice, y'all. This is condensation. That's what it's doing to your food. So when you're putting it in there and you're thinking, oh, it was only out for a couple seconds, five seconds is when I stopped and it was gathering. So I'm even gonna put a timer up in the video so you can see exactly what it was. We'll probably re I'll probably clip this and replay it again for you. So I'm gonna pull, reach in here. You can see right where it's at. I'm gonna pull my jar of yeast out. We're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna stop it there because it's really cold, but you can see. Okay, so it wasn't very long, was it? So that's what you're doing to your food. It doesn't take very much uh, water to ruin the food that you're putting in. Please, please, please remember, warm food gets, it stays longer. It, warm food goes into the bag and people are like, oh, but it still got soft. That's, oh, you know what? Then that's what happened. Something happened. You, and the, the, but if the process is finished and it has been fully freeze dried and it's complete and you've tested it with your humidifier and, or your, your humidity tester and all the things and you know for sure that you're putting it in dry, but it was cold, you're not putting it in dry. Now the water's starting to actually like get watery and you can actually see it. So you're putting it into the bags with water on it if you're putting it in frozen. So go out, add a couple hours. I don't even like to do warm trays. I like to actually just add two hours onto my time, let it go for about an hour, 20 minutes, and then I go in and I check it. If it's warm, it comes out. And if it's warm and done, it comes out. If it's cold, I'll keep that sucker going. It is not finished until it's fully warm. Okay, sorry. Woo, that's a lot, but I feel like this is a huge issue. People say, no, it's okay to do it cold. No, it's not okay to do it cold. Please make sure you are doing your freeze drying foods warm. All right, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I've been super busy, like I said, getting stuff uh, ready in my food storage. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, we're, we're rebel canning. If you, haven't, if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's super fun. We're waxing cheese. We're, uh, we're jarring all the things. I've been working on tomato sauce. I got apples um, from the Amish. I'm, getting, I'm gonna do some applesauce and some apple pie filling and freeze dried apple stuff. It's my favorite. Um, my kids are helping me. They've been so helpful. Shout out to my younger three boys. They're amazing. Um, and just, yeah, it's been super fun. I hope that you're having fun. I hope that you're learning things and that you're having fun in this preparation process. Prepping should be fun. It should not be done out of fear or desperation. It should be fun because you are doing something for your family. Even for those who don't actually agree with what you're doing, you're doing something for them. 
that is going to produce results. It's going to be something that keeps them going in the dark times. And they're coming, but that's okay. We can actually go through the dark times and be the light. So you guys are doing awesome. Um, thank you again so much for your comments. I really appreciate you guys. And I will put this up as soon as I get it done. And I'm off to make some freeze dryer. I got to go pull the cheese out. I've got cheese in my freeze dryer. I'm going to pull the cheese out and then I'm going to put some apples in. Yes, apples. It's like candy. Except I'm on keto, so I guess it's not really candy for keto. Thanks, guys. Hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.